Hello, hello everybody, this is Grimiaz, bringing you The Count Lucanor. Um, this is a game that was described as a mix of Zelda and Silent Hill. I thought that was a pretty cool combination, so I decided to give this thing a try. So without further ado, let's get started on The Count Lucanor. It sounds very, uh, evil too, Count Lucanor. It's a count that you don't want to come across to, probably. Yeah. Once upon a time, there was a really poor boy called Hans. Oh, this is a horror game too, by the way. <laughs> if you guys haven't gotten that, Hans was downhearted. He wanted to be an adult. Oh, hi, doggy. That's a cool doggy. Is he gonna be our friend? Most likely not. He's probably gonna die in this game. Or maybe we'll leave him behind. He wanted to explore faraway places, find treasures, and visit lavish castles. He seems to have a nice enough life. He has a cool dog. However, as his father had left to fight the war, Hans had to. Damn it, text. Come on, man, I didn't read that. But today, Hans was really happy. <laughs> It was his 10th birthday. Well, that's cool. Good for Hans. Mom, I'm back. Do you know what day it is today? Of course I know. You're 10 years old today. Happy birthday. Yeah! Have you bought me any presents? Maybe a toy? Hans, my dear, you know we have almost no money since your dad went to war. But, Mom, it's my B-Day! Do we have any sweets to eat? I'm sorry, there's nothing special. Come on, help me set the table. Hans is pissed. Well, enough's enough! All kids in the village have presents and sweets for their birthday. They even throw parties. Hans... I'm sick of this house. I'm sick of not having toys. I'm sick of being poor as a church mouse. I understand now why dad isn't coming back. Jeez, Hans. What the shit? Where are you going? I'm leaving. I just turned 10. I'm a grown man. No, you're not! Hans, please. I'm going to search for fortune and I'm never, and I'm not ever coming back. I'll be an explorer, or even better, I'll be a prince in a castle. Goodbye. Aw. What the hell? Hans, wait. Are you really leaving? You're still too young. You may think you're a grown-up, but you're only ten. Besides, life is really hard outside, and the woods can be really dangerous for you. I don't care. I'm really strong, and I've been alone in the woods many times. If you're really leaving, at least let me do what I can to help you. I got some things for you. I don't need your help. This cane belongs to my father, your grandpa, and has great sentimental value to me. I'm sure it'll help you in your journey. I got a cane! We're <laughs> nice! This is all the money we got left. Take it and spend it wisely. We got three gold coins. Finally, this is all we have to eat. Eat your food slowly, it will last longer. You got some cheese, yay! And this is it. I can't give you anything else. Hans, please don't go off the road. Be a good boy and remember, I'll be here if you want to come back. Jeez, Hans. To interact with things, I have to be next to them and use E. Okay. Wow, way to be shitty against your mother. Am I right? I mean, yeah, being poor sucks and all, but like, seriously, it's not your mom's fault. Spittle will love this bone. I got a bone! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. I got a bone. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I can give it to the dog. Spittle. I can't play with you anymore. I can go on I go on adventures just like Dad did. I might not be coming back for a long time. Hey, but where's your bone? It has to be around here. I have it. Wait, hold on. I should... Oh, okay. Equip it and then give it to him. There you go, Spittle. That's your bone. You're gonna spittle the bone. I have to go now. Take care of mom and don't go away. Aww. We're leaving spittle behind. <laughs> I kinda called it, didn't I? Alright. I can't go over here, so let's go. 
I, I can't run in this game, by the way, so Hans is gonna take some time, you know, getting places. But it's fine. To be honest, for a pixelated game, it, the other stuff, the, like the cutscenes and all, it looks pretty cool, don't you guys think? I thought it did. Look at the thing. I'm happy I don't have to fetch water from this darn well anymore. Well, if that's the worst thing you had to do, Hans, oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, what is this? I think I'm taking I, what I've hidden in the tree hollow. You got three chestnuts. Nice. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but it's items. And in a game like this, items always help. So let's go on. Let's go on the road. To Count Lucanar. Oh cool, there's a little squirrel. Hey, can I say hi to the squirrel? Or maybe not. Okay, the squirrel ran away from me. Uh, you know, I kind of expected that. Hey, look, there are... Are those gophers? They are. And gophers run away too. Or maybe they, they might be rabbits. Yeah. Uh, so, what if I go this way? Can I actually go that, this way or do I have to go straight? Apparently there is exploration in this game. This is the path to the village, but it's really boring. I'd rather go on adventures and risk death. Because why not, Hans? Ten years old and you want to already like be in the danger of death. I'm guessing I have to go this way. Uh, hi, lady. Hello, young one. What are you doing here alone? The woods can be really dangerous for a kid. I'm a grown man, lady. I'm t <laughs> What? what? <laughs> oh, well, I see you're a man indeed. Perhaps you can help me then. What's wrong? I was on my way to the market in the village to sell this pig and make some money. But my cane was stuck in some rocks and it broke. I need that sport to walk, so I don't know what I will do when the night falls. Won't you have by any chance something to help me keep going? I could hand her the cane mom gave me, but she told me it was my grandpa's. To give her the cane, I should take it from my backpack and show it to her. I... <laughs> he does have a good point. And remember, the mom said it had sentimental value to her. I don't know. Apparently, according to the description of this game and some reviews, like, the actions that you take has an effect on the ending. I'm not gonna give it to her. Just because my mom said it had a sentimental value to her, and the fact that it belongs to my grandpa. Hey, dear! Oh, he ran away. Alright. I'm not gonna give it to her. I would very much like to help her, but at the same time, it belongs to my grandpa. Sentimental value and all that, so... I don't know. I don't want to give it to her, to be honest. Just because of that reason. And, you know... What if I come back to mom and she's pissed off that I don't have the cane anymore? Those are some stuff to think about, actually. But, hey, let's talk to this donkey. Hey, donkey. Hey, Mr. Donkey, where do you come from? You look hungry. Uh, can we get him some food? I don't know. Let's find him some food. Oh, cool, we can actually go over here. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're gonna run away. Oh, there are apples. Can I pick them? I can actually give them to the donkey. They like eating apples, I think. Those apples look delicious. If I keep them, I could gain strength later. I got an apple. Huh. Well, I guess I got a choice to give it to the donkey or keep it for myself. I'm gonna give it to the donkey. I wasn't nice to the old lady. I'm gonna be nice to the donkey. It makes sense. If you're not nice to people, at least be nice to, <laughs> nice to animals, right? Alright, let's look up the apple. Uh, equip, yeah. Hey, donkey. There you go, Mr. Donkey. Eat this apple I got here. You're giving the donkey an apple. <laughs> yeah, it's happy. It loves me. Uh, animal friend. Oh, yeah, I I got an achievement out of that. That's cool. Uh, what does it say here? The Cursed Gorge. Oh, yeah, let me go in there. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Hans, yeah. And there's a raven going to the gorge. That's not a good sign. Hey, dude. Who are you? Why are you crying? Oh, what will become of me? I don't know. Hey, are you alright? Help! Please help! I lost everything! All the bears are carried for my lord. Even my donkey has gone away. What will become of me? I see the donkey down the road. He'll be just he'll he'll just be scared. My master will punish me anyway. He'll lash me one hundred times for not bringing the wares. Perhaps you could strap them to the donkey and resume your journey? You're not hurt, are you? You're a smart kid, but that won't help much. Unless I bring my master some money to make up for the bag and he'll punish me hard. You're just a kid, I guess you won't spare some coins, will you? I could give him my money, but mom told me not to waste it. 
Yeah, sorry, dude. I'm kind of poor. I got three gold coins, so... I mean, sorry, I would love to help. If I was, like, any sort of rich, I would help, but I, I, I don't have the kind of money to help you. I got three gold coins. And... Look, is that a baby goat? Hey, goatee! Oh, I let you out. Okay. That's cool. I guess. Huh. Alright, so... I let out a goat. Don't know what that, that's gonna do, but... Okay. Let's see what's here. All those above 15 shall report to their nearest gendarmerie at once. Shit. I guess the, because of the war. I don't know what kind of war it is, but it's a war, so that's why young kids have to go... All signing up for the gendarmerie. Which, if you don't know, that's like uh, village police, basically. Um, River of the Dead. Do I really want to go there? Uh, Alright. This is a really old tome. It's so worn, I can't read the name. Huh. Well, that's cool. The tome looks worn. It says, it reads Joseph Frey. Hmm, that's really odd. That name. Whoa, oh, what the shit? What the hell, Raven? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell, Raven? What the hell did you do that for? Well, Han's not such a big man now, are you? Getting impaled by a raven. It was a tiny raven. But yeah, I mean... If you get impaled by a raven, then who knows what will happen. Dude, that Raymond is pretty fucking evil. So what the hell happened? Are we in hell? Never mind, it wasn't a small Raven actually, it was a pretty gigantic one. And it's gonna eat us! What the shit? You serious, Raven? Thanks! Save soul. You killed me to save my soul. Okay, thanks. Oh, my head. I might have fallen asleep. No, we got attacked by a raven. It's pitch dark and I'm freezing. I should head home. I just need to follow the way back. It's But it's so dark. I better take this candle with me. Yeah, you should. Um, This is... Uh, yeah, this was the Joseph Frey. I don't... Is that, I wonder, someone that's known to us? Maybe our father's name? And we just don't remember our father's name for some reason, or something. It could be because of something else. I don't know. Oh! That escalated quickly. Hi, duckies! Did you, do you realize the river is filled with blood? This is the blood of all those who died at war. Jeez. That must have been pretty bad. Oh, what the fuck are those things? Uh, what's happening here? I don't know, but I don't think I want to find out. Whoa, this has got to be a nightmare. What the hell, goats? What happened to you? Oh, what the fuck? Hey, buddy, you all right? You look pale. And you look kind of zombied. You can never trust a goat, can ya? I, I guess not. I don't think they're goats. Hey, look, it's the baby goat that I rescued. Even the baby goat is scary now. So, Hans, about becoming a grown-up, maybe you don't want to become a grown-up anymore. How about that? There's no change as well. Children named Hans will be hung from the highest tower of the village for skipping war. I'm only 10 years old! Oh, hey, you're, you're that kobold. Huh? Yeah, you were in the game poster, so therefore you must be important. What are these boxes doing here? I don't know. Well, let's move. What? Uh, ellipses. What about him? What happened? Hans, what the hell did you do? I don't know what the hell's going on, but okay, I'm gonna move. I hear, like, goat being behind me. Is it, is it following me? I don't know. Hey, you! Come back here! I know you're supposed to be important somehow. Cause, you know, I saw you on the poster. The blue cobalt keeps a great treasure. Cobalt? That reminds me, uh, cobalt, man. I haven't heard those uh, that name for a long time. I used to play EverQuest a lot back when I was a kid. And let's just say I killed a great number of cobalts. Yeah, it was like... 
it was like one of the first things that, I, that you do in EverQuest, uh, is to find this dungeon with kobolds and kill them. Uh, there's like goats. I don't think I want to wake up to goats. The goats are evil in this universe now. I don't know why, but then this deer looks even if it's completely steel, I can see it. I can see it breeding, and it also has a gigantic eye, red eyes that are likely to kill me. So maybe we shouldn't bother him. But okay. All right. So let's follow the kobold. And maybe I, I will get to kill it, just like EverQuest! <laughs> oh, look, it's a bird that has... D that bird has seemed a lot cuter before the sunset. Right? Hey, can we actually go back home? Or... I wonder if I'll die if I... Tr try that. No, no, don't leave a candle. Those rabbits don't look friendly at all, I better leave them alone. Right? I wonder if I, what, what will happen if I try to go back home. Will, it, will he say something like, you can't, or... I hear... Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should have tried to go back home. <laughs> right. Right. Going back home is a bad idea, because the goat men are blocking the road. <laughs> I, I, I figured it would be something like that, obviously. So we have to follow the blue guy. Alright, blue guy. Where'd you go? Uh, I'm guessing I should follow the flowers. That would be a better policy than following the goat men that are likely to eat me. Is there anything here? Hey, what's this? This is a sewer, but I'm not strong enough to remove the grate. I thought you were a big man and all. I'm a grown-up. I'm 10 years old. I can do whatever the hell I want. And how the hell did my health go down? When did my health go down? Huh. Good evening, most gracious sire. Welcome. Uh, hello. Where am I? You have entered the walls of Tenebrae Castle, the fortress of the most illustrious Count Lucanor. I didn't know there was a count living around here. My master has always excelled discretion. Perhaps you come to claim my master's legacy. Legacy? My master Count Lucanor is a man of great wealth. His domain and influence span hundreds of leagues. However, he is afflicted by a sorrow. His days of youth are far behind, and in all these years he has not had a son to take his place. Thus, he has requested me to look for a young nobleman who would serve to inherit such a fortune. You mean this Count Lucanor has a lot of money and he's looking for someone to have it? Precisely, so my first thought was that you had arrived with that purpose in mind. Uh, uh, of course, I'm a uh, nobleman from a faraway kingdom. I have come to claim the Count's wealth. Uh, take me to him at once, please. I admire your enthusiasm. Sire, but before I take you to my master, I need to make sure you stand for the appropriate values for the role. We would not want wild noblemen, thieves, or ragged children in the throne, would we, sire? Therefore, you will have to tackle a simple trial. You will need to guess my name. What do you say? You will have the night to guess my name. If you are right, I will personally take you to my master, the most illustrious Count Lucanor. I wish you luck in the trial, sire. Now, if you will allow me, I have to leave. Great! What a blessing! If I guess his name, I'll be rich! And if you guess wrong, you'll die! <laughs> right? That's a great blessing, Hans. Yeah. Okay, well, get rich or die trying type of thing, I guess. Hooray. And cool, this is a creepy-ass castle. I'm guessing this is where the real horror kind of begins. If we hadn't had real horror already. Hey, what is this thing? Let me open this chest. It won't open. The lock is a 3 digit combination. Okay, well. Uh, so, I guess we haven't found that yet. Sowie, the fountain is full of coins. If I were you, I would have reached for those coins. I've seen the rain raven kill seven foot tall warriors just by pecking. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. I mean, that raven is kind of insane. Truth be told, the raven looks pissed. Leave gold. Say so. What? 
is asking you for coin, boy. If you throw a gold coin into the fountain, he'll save your soul. Save my soul? But what from? That. <gasps> I, oh, I think I get it. Hold on. Do we actually, like... If I want to save my soul, I should throw a coin. Okay, so I have to equip the coin, I think. Uh, equip the coin. Hey, Miss, Miss Raven. There you go, a gold coin. Please save my soul. You've given the Raven a coin. So I think... That saves the game. Save soul. Yay! I saved. I haven't noticed anything strange, but I guess this worked. Whatever this is. Trust me, Hans. It worked. Uh, so I'm guessing that's the save system. I Yeah, I heard that mentioned in the um, reviews. Let's talk to this guy, and then I think I might cut it here. Hey, young one. What are you doing here? I'm after the Count's fortune. Hey, you won't happen to know the blue kobold's name, will you? <laughs> I just come here to sell my wares. Those unfortunate souls who dare to enter the rooms of the castle. What do you mean? Find it by yourself. Since we are already met, I can give you this key. I got the blue key. I think I've never seen a colored key before. What is it for? Oh my, you seem to be a little bit confused. Haven't you noticed the banners by the doors? Hmm. There are four colors. Blue, green, red, and golden. You need the same color key to open those doors. Alright, now I got the blue key, I can start exploring, thanks a lot! Wait, kiddo, don't leave in such a rush. Don't you want to see my rares? They might be useful to you. Alright, what do you sell? The first one is the golden key, you can use it to enter the rooms upstairs. The key will cost you 10 gold- holy shit, are you serious? Go screw yourself! The second item is a sealed envelope with one of the blue kobold's name letters. The letter will cost you 5 gold coins. And last but not least, I got some corn. A handful of corn will cost you three gold coins. By the way, I'm recalling you didn't help me when we met to buy the rocks. I might require more money from you for my wares, I'll see. Wow, really? Maybe if I'm really better... Maybe if I'm really nice to you now, will you, like, consider it? No? Okay. Well, okay, guys, I'm gonna cut it here. I like it! It took a creepy ass turn for the really terrible, terrible creepiness and disturbingness on a whole another level very fast, and I like that. <laughs> so, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.